Hey, I'm back. Okay, so a couple more videos I'm doing. Uh, this next one actually, uh, I just collected these today. And, uh, oh, what is today? The 4th of January, 2015. Um, it's a little bit warm today, and I went out to my beehive and decided to open it up. Unfortunately, my bees had not survived the uh, early winter. So I was taking the hive apart, and I happened across uh, one of the few native species to the Americas. And that's the uh, the genus of Parcoblata cockroaches. Uh, nymphs overwinter in tree bark and stuff like that. And they, uh, they'll they kind of, as they sit in the winter, they need is diapause, which is like a cool down period. Uh, or else they cannot mature, and I'm not really sure what the biological um, mechanism is behind that. But they... Uh, it's basically how they've survived our cold winters here in, uh, I'm in Pennsylvania. So, these are the Pennsylvania Woodroach. Uh, they are Parcoblata Pennsylvanica. And, um, as you can see, they look kind of like the, uh, nymphs of the American or the Oriental Cockroach. And that's, they actually get confused for them a lot, uh, because they have such a similar look to them. Uh, but they do get into houses when people bring in firewood and stuff. They like to sit under the bark. Uh, so folks sometimes think they have a roach infestation when these guys get in there, but they won't live in your house. It's way too dry in there. Anyway, uh, so these are collected from the, uh, the beehive, and, um, Parker Blotta in general, uh, I don't know if you can see what this one just did, on its, uh, the rear part of its, had them in here, if you irritate them, they actually create a sticky substance, uh, right by their Cersei and Styli and all that, and, uh, that kind of gums up the mouths of would-be predators and uh, stuff. And actually, it's just pretty sticky on your hands uh, when it gets on there. But that's just a defense mechanism that they have. Uh, it's like a grayish, pasty material. Um, anyway, these folks, what you want to do with uh, Parcovlada is you want to keep them relatively, uh, not really, really moist, but... You want to actually just dropped one on my pants leg. Um, having all kinds of escapes today. There we go. Um, you want to keep them with a little bit of moisture. Um, you know, you want to re replicate the uh, exterior conditions as much as possible with these uh, because they are a native. Get off of there. Uh, they are a native species. Um, you want to kind of replicate the area that they come from as much as possible. Uh, this is just a. Uh, cocoa fiber substrate with some uh, some of the uh, moss in there. Uh, the nymphs cannot climb smooth plastic, so I don't have to worry about any escapes in here. Uh, however, when the adults molt out, they can. Uh, but again, they need that diapause. They need that overwintering period, or they can't, uh, they can't molt. I don't, like again, I don't know what the biological method is behind that, but they, uh, they just will never grow up. You might get a couple males, but you won't get any females, and you won't get any breeding from it. I've experimented with them for a couple years now on and off, and I've had no success. So these have been partial diapause. They've been cooled off. Um, I'm going to see how this goes. I'm going to see if they mature or not. And if they don't, then I'll try again uh, next season with them. But these are very interesting roach. They're very prolific when they actually do lay their Atheca. Um They like to tuck it under, under bark and stuff like that. So the best thing I can say is to keep a little bit of moisture, a little bit of bark, uh, you know, nooks and crannies for them to hide, but definitely put some oak leaves or hardwood leaves in here for them to munch on because they will really like that. Uh, but you also want to include, uh, you know, some apples and oranges and dog food, just like all the other roach species that you're taking care of. Um, Parcoblata in general, uh, they're relatively small. The adults, uh, the males are kind of long. They're about an inch to an inch and a quarter. Uh, very long wings, very light bodied. Uh, they can fly if the temperature is warm enough. Um, I've never really had that issue, but they can. Uh, the females have wing stubs, so they can't actually fly at all, so you don't have to worry about that. But again, the adults can climb smooth surfaces. So you just have to kind of be mindful of that if you are breeding them. You have to watch the adults getting out of the tank when you're using it. But they're, uh, they're a fun species, and they're really neat just because they're a native species. And I'm, I'm a big fan of native animals, and especially the, uh, the, the roaches like this, so... I collected these out of the beehive earlier today, and, well, we'll see how they go. All right, if anyone has any questions about these, I can answer what I can, and I'll see you all later.